Starting with the Niyama, personal observances are crucial to deepening one's yoga practice, offering a path to internal discipline and spiritual refinement. These practices build the inner strength and wisdom necessary to navigate life with grace and awareness. Here's a brief overview of each Niyama and how one might begin to integrate them into daily life. Saucha, purity. This involves maintaining both external and internal cleanliness. Externally, we keep our bodies and living spaces clean and orderly. Internally, we cultivate purity of thoughts and emotions. You can start by decluttering your home, eating wholesome foods and practicing meditation to clear the mind. Santosha, contentment. Cultivating contentment is about accepting and appreciating what you have and where you are in life, rather than being caught up in a constant desire for more. Practicing mindfulness and gratitude daily can help develop a more contented mind. Tapas, discipline. This niyama refers to the fire or discipline that drives one to practice and pursue the spiritual path earnestly. It can be cultivated through setting and adhering to daily practices or routines that align with personal and spiritual growth. Svadhyaya, self-study. Svadhyaya involves introspection and the study of sacred texts, which can help illuminate the self's nature and its relationship to the universe. You can incorporate this by reading spiritual literature, reflecting on personal values, and journaling your insights and progress. Ishvara Pranidhana, dedication to a higher presence. This is about relinquishing the ego's control and acknowledging a force greater than oneself. It can be practiced through prayer, meditation, focused on surrender, or dedicating your efforts to serve others as offerings to something greater than oneself. Beginning with the Niyamas sets a solid foundation for personal growth, guiding one's actions and attitudes towards a more disciplined and fulfilling spiritual life. Saucha or purity is a fundamental concept in yoga that extends beyond physical cleanliness to purifying our minds and spirits. Here's a detailed exploration of how you can implement Saucha in your daily life. External cleanliness, personal hygiene, regular bathing, brushing teeth and grooming keep you physically clean and contribute to a positive self-image and a respectful presence in social interactions. Diet, eating fresh, clean and minimally processed foods helps maintain the body's health. Incorporating organic produce can reduce the intake of harmful pesticides and chemicals. Environment, keep your living and workspaces tidy and organized. This makes the space more pleasant and functional and can enhance your mental sharpness and concentration. Regularly cleaning and decluttering your environment can also have a calming effect on your mind. Internal cleanliness, mental space, regular meditation helps observe and clear the clutter of unnecessary thoughts. Techniques like mindfulness meditation can teach you to remain present and disengage from habitual patterns of negative or cluttered thinking. Emotional purification, techniques like journaling, counseling and reflective practices can help deal with suppressed emotions. Emotional purity involves acknowledging feelings but not letting them dominate your actions. This includes letting go of anger, envy and bitterness and making room for more positive states like compassion and love. Pranayama, breathing exercises. Certain breathing techniques in yoga such as Kapalabhati, skull shining breath, or Nadi Shodhana, alternate nostril breathing, are specifically designed to cleanse the body and mind. These practices can help regulate the energy flow within the body, clear the nasal passages, and even calm the nervous system. E spiritual purity. Regular practice, engaging regularly in spiritual practices according to your faith or belief system, can align you more closely with your values and the essence of purity. This could be prayer, chanting or other devotional activities. Associations and inputs, be mindful of the media you consume and the company you keep. Engaging with uplifting content and surrounding yourself with positive people can influence your thoughts and help maintain spiritual purity. Integrating Saucha into daily routines. To effectively integrate Saucha into your life, make it a part of your daily routine. Start and end your day with cleanliness. Take a few minutes each morning to tidy your space, plan healthy meals and meditate or reflect. Before bed, a review of the day can help acknowledge any disturbances in mental or emotional purity, allowing you to address and clear them consciously. 
Practicing Saucha is not just about external cleanliness, but nurturing a holistic approach to purity in thoughts, actions, and our environment. This comprehensive approach can lead to a clearer, more focused mind and a healthier, more disciplined lifestyle. For the next three days, I will focus on Saucha. Day one, physical cleanliness. Morning, I'll start my day with thorough personal hygiene. I plan to take a refreshing shower using salt or sugar scrubs to exfoliate and revitalize my skin. I'll also exercise light to get my blood circulating and awaken my body. Throughout the day I will be mindful of what I consume and choose whole unprocessed foods that nourish and are free from artificial additives. I'll make sure to drink plenty of water to help detoxify my body. Evening. I'll dedicate time to cleaning and organizing my living space removing clutter that no longer serves me to create a more peaceful and orderly environment. This external tidiness will help enhance my internal state. Day 2. Mental and Emotional Purification Morning, I will begin with a meditation session focused on mindfulness to clear my mind of clutter and distraction. I also plan to write in a journal to help me articulate and process any persistent thoughts or emotions. Throughout the day, I'll practice mindfulness in all my interactions and tasks, ensuring I am fully present and deliberate with my actions and speak truthfully and kindly. Evening, I will engage in a relaxing activity such as reading inspirational literature or practicing gentle yoga. Before bed, I'll write down any emotions or events that disturbed my peace during the day and contemplate ways to address them. Day 3. Spiritual Cleanliness Morning, I'll start with prayers, chants, or whatever spiritual practices resonate with my beliefs, setting a reverent tone for the day. Throughout the day, I will reflect on my interactions and activities to ensure they are aligned with my spiritual goals. I plan to engage in acts of kindness and compassion, which purify the spirit and foster a sense of connection and community. Evening, I will spend some time in nature or meditate in a quiet, clean space in my home, I will contemplate the practices of the last three days and set intentions for continuing these habits beyond this focused period. Integrating Saucha beyond three days, practicing Saucha diligently for these three days, I aim to lay the groundwork for a lasting transformation. I plan to incorporate aspects of these practices into my daily routine permanently, maintaining regular attention to cleanliness and purity in all forms, physical, mental, emotional and spiritual. This begins a journey towards a more mindful, disciplined and spiritually aligned life. Through the dedicated practice of Saucha, I aspire to cultivate a continuous state of renewal and purity in every aspect of my being.